Mama. Mama. You're making things difficult for me with this attitude of yours. Stop it, Mama. Now remember, Broken is gone and gone forever. All we need to do is to encourage ourselves and move ahead. <laughs> that was my only child, my only son. Mama, <laughs> the only child that is taking care of me. Mama. Why not that take me to him? <laughs> Mama, 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 listen, let me tell you. The kids are around. I don't want them to hear you cry. They'll feel bad. I want to die. I want to die. <laughs> what are you? I die? want to die. <laughs> That's what I I want to die. Mama, calm down. <laughs> you have me and your grandchildren. Please, please calm down. <laughs> So sorry. I was out of town. Mm. I heard what happened to your brother. And when I heard about it, I was confused of what to say. Mm. Just take out, okay? Just take out. My mm. sister. That is how we saw it. Just a little illness. We rushed my brother to the hospital. My brother died immediately. We got to the hospital. Jesus. But wait, oh, has he been suffering from such illness before? <laughs> my friend, I've been with my brother for years. I've not heard him complain of any brain illness. In fact, my brother's death is still a mystery to me. That is serious. So how about Mama? How is she taking it? Eh? My mother has been crying every day. In fact, Mama wants to join her son. Poor woman. Hi, my friend. Please just take care of her, okay? Always be on her side. Just keep consoling her, eh? Boy, everything's no okay. Problem. So how was your trip? No. Let me see. Oh, that's nice. So what do you have to say to her? Thank, Thank you, you, Mom. That's nice. You're welcome. You can go to your room now. We'll continue from where we stop by tomorrow. Okay? Thank you. Sleep well. Good night, Mom. Good night. So, Honey? Yes. How is work today? Oh, work was fine. At the same time, so stressful. Oh, I'm sorry. Where is Mama? Mama is resting in her room. Oh, that's nice. And I'm very, very famished. Let me undress and 
I hope there is food in this house. Of course, there is. Please make food for me very fast. Okay, sir. Mm. <sighs> You are not sleeping. This is 3 a.m. Oh no, where's the problem? I'm worried. Over what? Mama. Uh. You and I know that. Since the death of my brother, Mama has been mentally imbalanced. I know. She don't. She don't. She does not talk to anyone. The worst of all, she does not even eat her food. It's killing me. Cause why should I sleep? It's okay. Um, what do we do now? Well, I think we should employ a psychology to stop this her sudden. Attitude. Yes, that, that, that is true. Um, there is this, my friend, I mean my colleague in the office. He once told me about um, when they lost their two sons out of you know, a gas accident after seven years of childlessness. And they employed this psychologist she mentioned. And the guy was able to talk her out of such situation that Mama is passing through. I think he should be of a help. Yes. Please, we should too. It's okay. We we'll have to take his help immediately. It's okay, but there's My nothing. mother's case is giving me sleepless nights. You don't expect me it's to sleep. It's okay, honey. There's nothing we can do. Let's wait for the guy. Okay? If you say so, I will. Adam. Mm -hmm. Manager. Yes. Mm -hmm. The secretary told me you were looking for me. I hope all is well. Yes, I did. All is well. It's just that I have a situation that requires an urgent attention. Okay, what is it all about? It's all about my mother-in-law. Since the a sudden death of her, her son, I mean my brother-in-law, yeah. she automatically changed her monster. That's serious. She doesn't talk to people. She doesn't eat her food. And the situation is so unbearable to everyone in the family. And that reminds me. You once told me your wife has a similar situation and you call the psychologist. We'll talk her. Yeah, we'll talk her. Please, I need the guy. Yes, I did. But the guy is out of town. Okay. He so told me he's coming back. He told me he was traveling to Abuja for two weeks. But all the same, I will get in contact with him. Okay. And definitely when I do, I'll connect both of you together. Uh, please do. I need him. Because his presence will do a, a, a lot of good in my life. I understand what you're going through. Yes, I was certainly positive. You don't have a problem. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> These girls are crazy. So crazy. Imagine. <laughs> Yes. What about the thing we discussed? You mean the psychologist? Yes. Oh, I actually had a, a discussion with my friend. Mm -hmm. And he said he's going to give me feedback because the guy traveled out of the town. Maybe when, when it comes back, something good will come out of it. I'm worried. You shouldn't. I'm so much bothered. 
Mama's case is giving me sleepless nights. Only I know. But there's nothing anybody will do. Nah. Are you a psychologist? The answer is no. So let's wait for him. You don't really understand what my mother is passing through. Please, we are talking about my mother. Only? She's passing through a lot. Is your mother not my mother? Do I have any other mother apart from your mother? Your mother is my mother. It's okay. It's not, uh, smile for me. You know I can't smile. Please, no. I can't. Mama? Are you okay? My daughter. Do you need anything? Yes. But I'm hungry. You are hungry? Yes. Mama, come and sit down. Give me five <sighs> minutes. I'll prepare your food. from the room, I saw Mama playing with her grandchildren. Wow, I'm so surprised. <laughs> Mama playing with her grandchildren? That's a good news. My dear, if you ask me, I would say she has decided to move on with her life. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, cool. My friend, <laughs> I've never seen my mother this happy in my entire life. Mm? I'm short of words. It's wonderful. You know what? You should be happy that mm. she has overcome that unbearable situation. Mm. You know it's not easy. Huh? Indeed. It's oh, a great test. Thank God for her. Mm. <laughs> yes, I forget. I was carried away by Mama's matter. Mm -hmm. How is business? Oh, my dear, business is good, but. You are eating your money. Mama? You called me? Yes, ma'am. You are enjoying now? Yes. My daughter, what are your plans in your marriage? Mama? I don't understand what you mean by my plans in this marriage. Will you shut up and answer me? Mama, I, st I, st I still don't understand. I, I don't, I can't. Mama, I don't have answer to that question. Because I don't understand. So you don't want to talk to me, eh? Mama, I hope you're not trying to ruin my life. How? Look at somebody that I'm trying to help. I'm only helping you. I'm just trying to help you. Huh? Excuse me, I have something on fire. We'll continue the discussion later. Hey, you're walking out on me. Look at somebody that I'm trying to help on. Don't worry. Soonest, you will understand. You will understand when the time comes. Look at somebody that I'm trying to help. Fast. No, time is against me. And I have to be at the airport in one hour time. You know airport protocols, please. Please. Yes, And one more thing. Take good care of yourself. And children. I will. Okay. When are you coming back? Mm, today is Monday. Mm. And our training is for three days. So by Wednesday, I'll be back. Mm. Please also be careful. <laughs> I, I know you may. Don't worry. I won't share. I know where you are going. Bye. Bye, friends. One more thing. Bye. Bye. See you. Yeah. <laughs> Where? 
the children. They've gone to bed. Ah, so early. Yes, Mama. <laughs> um, see me in my room, eh? Okay, Ma. I'll be with you shortly. Make it fast. Yeah? Okay, Mama. Mama, we are going to visit a friend. You'd have allowed my granddaughter to stay with me. Ma, please, we'll be back home early. Sandra! I'm running late. Mom, Victor just hit me. Hey, Victor, why did you hit your sister? Mom, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Please don't do that. Bye-bye. Bye, Ma. Go see my children. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Daughter of the great mother of peace. Your cry has been heard. But to grant your request of your daughter replacing your position, she has to pay a price to assume that position. Mother, what can she possibly do to wear that crown after I might have come? Your granddaughter has to be deflowered by your grandson. Ha! <sighs> Grandmother, how can this be possible? Huh? Seeing that he's just a little boy. And besides, my daughter will not accept that. She will not. She has to. Because by so doing, she will have the strength to acquire the husband's sweat. Also, to make him submissive of all her demands. <laughs> okay. My daughter, mm -hmm. few days ago, I asked you a question. What is your plan? for your marriage. You quickly disregard my statement and you walked out on me. Mama, what did you do to me? Mama, why did you 
choose to destroy my life. <laughs> yes! You have to carry your responsibility as the next as a one. Here are the conditions for you to obtain that crown. What nonsense condition are you talking about? Listen to me. By obtaining that crown, you require your husband's wealth. And you have to allow your son to devour your daughter. With that, you control everything. Mama, you have finished me. Where on earth have you had a brother deflowered his sister? Mama, in fact, uh, I, you, you, you're a wicked mother. Listen and listen very carefully. You have to carry on with that task. Yes, you will run mad for the rest of your life. Better. In fact, I was about taking my bath before. Talk with me. Ah, you just want to view my marriage. You have to carry out that assignment. Mama, I won't do it. Mm -hmm. Just between mad or forever or better. Eh? Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine this? This word. I don't want anything bad to happen to both of you. Mom, um, hmm? why are you crying the envelope for your trouble? No, my son, I'm fine. Oh, is it because daddy has no come back? It's okay, my daughter. I want both of you to care for each other. I want you to love each other. Always be by your sides, okay? That will make me more happy and grateful. No, don't worry. We will always be together. One, One trouble perfect another. It's okay, my lovely children. My children. I'm proud of both of you. <laughs> story, story, story. story. Once upon a time. Hi. My children. You know, those days. During our New Year festival, we normally gather at the village square. Come and see your grandma mm -hmm. dancing. You're looking fresh. Let me help you eat. <laughs> this bag is too heavy. <laughs> Take it easy. Please don't break my own face for me. You're not eating. eating. You bubble sand egg every time. Daddy, what did you buy for I and Big Dog? Sandra! Can't you allow your daddy to rest? As you can see, he's just coming back. Let him alone. It's okay. Leave my children for me. Listen, eh? I call it a lot of duties in that bag. <coughs> Surprises. Oh, Mama. Mama, good evening. Mama is shining. Mama, how are you? You're welcome, my son. Thank you, my I was beginning to think that you give more attention to your wife and children. Mama, how could I? My camera, my mama, this is my mama. Oh, you're Yes. You're welcome, my son. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Oh, let's go inside. Oh, you're shiny. Oh, you're shiny. Hey! What happened? Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Honey, 
I right. think it's high time Mama went back to the village. Why should Mama go back to the village now we needed her most? Hmm. Mama is missing her farm and her friends in the village. <laughs> Allow her to go and enjoy her, her farm. Akba, Akbo Kogbo, no, you're dead. Oh, my boy. Wait, I don't understand this, your parables. Okay. Mama needs to go back to the village. Listen to me. For now, I cannot subscribe to this, your idea. Because if I have my way, eh, mm. I will locate Mama permanently to this city so that she can have her body back. Uh -uh. Mm, if you say so, no problem. Mm. Are we quarreling? No, no problem. Let's sleep. Mm. I don't understand you. Okay. Huh. See the document I kept inside the drawer. Not at all. Where did you keep it? Yeah. Problem. Problem. I'm very, very 100% sure that I kept the document, the document I came back from with from Abuja that day, inside that drawer. I did not see any documents. Oh, better still, I help you in searching. Please, you can Because that document is so important to me. It's the only evidence that I have that I went for that seminar mm -hmm. and to be promoted as well. And if I don't see the document, I start at the risk of losing my job and you know what it means. You won't lose your job, I'll, I'll search for it. Just Please do. You're running late. Okay. See you. Because I know you are responsible for this. <laughs> mm. It is only a fool 
that sees fire and walk into it. You have a mandate to carry out the responsibility. Listen to me. Just 30 days for you to carry out that assignment. Yes, you will die. Your children will die, including your husband. Mama, you lie. Listen and listen good, Mama. Hey, you have to get those documents. You are a wicked mother. You are pointing at me. Yes, ma. That's a man. Hey! Look at this girl. Look at you. Someone that I'm trying to help her. I'm just trying to help you. Adam. Nonsense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. document is missing and there is no way to be found. Which document will I present to him? You can't say. That is the part. Okay, okay, okay. Go and see the boss and hear what he's going to say to you. Okay. Sit down. I'm coming. Gave me only about uh, 72 hours to present the document else and get fired. What? Is that so serious? Oh my God. Calm down. Honey, my document is missing. Yes. I'm so sorry. Oh. You will be promoted. Okay? I heard you. Anulam, Anulam. It's okay. My boss gave me 74 hours to present my document. If not, I will get fired. When I will get fired. Stop saying yes. that. You won't lose your job. But you don't understand. I'm here for you. Oh. you. Just believe in God. Anola. I'm your strength. Uh, Anola. Well, Let's go and see. That, that, that my document. Let's go back. Where is my document? I'm asking you. He's late. Come back. Dead for what? I don't care. Do you know what it means? I left you. I left you people here. For good three, three days. For this seminar. For me to get promoted. You think it's, it's an easy journey? How many persons that left that day and come back? How many? It's okay. It's okay. My daughter, it is time. You have been part of this kingdom. Blood is what is required for you to wear the crown. Now, Take this. In my left hand, 
you have a substance for your husband. Put it in his food and he will become useless. And the other substance in my right hand, you blow it in your children's room and leave the result to see in the morning. You have three days to do this. Yes, you will see the consequence. I repeat, yes, you will see the consequence. No, man. Thank you. It's all right. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Power. You control everything. You control your husband. Control this money. Yes. It's all right. Okay, why are you like this? What? But all the same, this is not the end of life. If one door closes, another opens. It's like a broken marriage or relationship. A woman walks out and another walks in. Just be strong and get yourself together. All the same, it's not your fault for crying out loud. No, maybe the fault of the company. Or better still, empty. Yes. Hey, Eric, where will I start the process of my life? Where? This is the company I worked for over 15 years. All I got in return is circle letter. Yes. This is what I got. Even when the time is not convenient for me, I make sure that I sacrifice it for the growth of the company. All of a sudden, see, look at you. Just for me to get promoted, this happened. Eric, what will I do? Where will I start? You don't keep blaming yourself. It is not the end of the whole world. Listen to me, Ken. When one door closes, another opens. It's like a broken marriage or relationship. In one walking out and walking, another walking in. Please get yourself, be strong, and put yourself together. When another man's corpse is being carried, it looks as if it's a lock of food. And they will tell you, I know how you feel, I know how you feel. They don't know anything. Maybe after some few hours now, I won't sit on this seat again. Victor, please, don't let daddy know about this, eh? 
Ah, Daddy doesn't like seeing blood. He will feel so bad. You yeah, come, let me clean you off. <laughs> you can open the door. <laughs> <laughs> My job. Who your job help? No sense. You are very stiff. I will get out. No sense, man. You push me. Come on. I will help myself. Mm. Look at
A pity we lost her. We tried our best, but it was far beyond us. We are so, so sorry for the loss. From the tests conducted on her, it shows that her blood group doesn't match with any of you. What did you say? You said she's your daughter, right? Yes, she was. Mm. She's our daughter. But medically, it doesn't show that. Joyce? Hmm? Yeah. What did she say? Beta, you need a shout for me. So what did you say? I said, medically, I am not the one who said this. Medically. Sure that one of you are the parents. You're a stupid doctor. Come on, get out. It's okay. She died as a result of excess bleeding from her private parts. the right time you start explaining to me what the doctor said in the hospital today. Ken, okay. I don't have answers to those your stupid questions. Do you think that I'm joking? I'm I said joking. explain to me what the doctor said. I said I don't have answers to those stupid questions. You think? Talk. <laughs> Who is the father of Victor and Sandra? Please. Please. Talk now before I stab you to death. Please. Talk Please. now. I will. What's the problem? Mr. Eric, you and I know that my husband has 20% chances of making me mad pregnant. That I know very well. Oh, well, please. And since then, the thing has happened. So I, I need your help. I want you to help me. Joyce, stop it! Please. You, I and your husband are the best of friends. He loves me and he trusted me. I can't do this kind of thing. Please! Please, try and understand. Oh! So, Eric has been the father of Victor and Sandra all these years. Joyce! Joyce, you can kill. You're a devil yourself! Okay, aside that, doctor said Sandra died as a result of excess bleeding from her private part. Now tell me, what did you do to her? What did you do to her? My mother planned it all. It all started. Oh, 
Have you added that substance in his food? Yes, ma'am. As instructed by the end. Yes, ma'am. It's okay. It's okay. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. So, you and your mother were responsible for everything that happened to me. Yes. Joy, all the misfortunes, the missing documents, the loss of my job. You, Joyce, Joyce, you're a devil. You're a devil incarnate. You know what? Go inside now, pack your load, and that your stupid and wretched mother, and leave my house right now and right away. Now, before I stab you to death, I say you should go inside. Ken, because I they beg you, eh? Because I they cry for you. Which house? You have a house. All the documents of this house bears my name. <laughs> so now, who is leaving? You or I? Y you must be a comedian. <laughs> Joyce, you are a, a joker! I said go inside. You are inside. the one joking here. I said go inside and pack before you I You are the one leaving. Leave my house. What do you mean? Joyce, I don't want to take loss into my hand. Will you get out from my prison and get... boy. Now throw away that knife. Stupid boy. Sit on the floor. Boy, stand up. Say you're a fool. I'm a fool. Shake your bum bum. Shake your head. <laughs> what happened? I'm not crying. How would I cry? For 15 good years. I put in everything I know. All the technical know how to make sure that they come to me. Move forward. Even when I'm not chance. Just for me to get my promotion. I'll start okay from this side. He glasses from this side. You should keep calm down. Honey, my document is missing. Yes. I'm so sorry. Oh. You will be promoted. Okay? I heard you. Anulam, Anulam. My boss gave me 74 hours to present my document. If not, I will get fired. When I will get fired. Stop saying yes. that. You won't lose your job. But you don't understand. I'm here for you. Oh. you. Just believe in God. Anulam. I'm your strength. Uh, Anulam. Well, Let's go and see. That, that, that my document. Let's go back. Where is my document? I'm asking you! Please, come back! Death for what? I don't care! Do you know what it means? I left you, I left you people here for good three, three days for this seminar for me to get promoted. You think it's, it's an easy journey? How many persons that left that day and come back? How many? It's okay. Okay. I will. My daughter, it is time you have been part of this kingdom. Blood is what is required for you to wear the crown. Now, take this. In my left hand, you have a substance for your husband. Put it in his food and he will become useless. And the other substance in my right hand, you blow it in your children's room and leave the result to see in the morning. You have three days to do this. Yes, you will see the consequence. I repeat, yes, you will see the consequence. No, ma. Thank you. It's alright. Do you know what it is to someone to power? You control everything. You control your husband. Control this money. Yes. It's alright. Okay. Why are you like this? What? 
But all the same, this is not the end of life. If one door closes, another opens. It's like a broken marriage or relationship. A woman walks out and another walks in. Just be strong and get yourself together. All the same, it's not your fault for crying out loud. No, maybe the fault of the company. Or better still, empty. Yes. Hey, Eric, where will I start the process of my life? Where? This is the company I worked for over 15 years. All I got in return is circulator. Yes. This is what I got. Even when the time is not convenient for me, I make sure that I sacrifice it for the growth of the company. All of a sudden, see, look at me. Just for me to get promoted, this happened. Hey, come on, right? Now, You don't keep blaming yourself. It is not the end of the whole world. Listen to me, Ken. When one door closes, another opens. It's like a broken marriage or relationship. A woman walking out and walking in, another walking in. Please, get yourself, be strong, and put yourself together. When another man's cause is being carried, it looks as if it's a lock of food. And they will tell you, I know how you feel, I know how you feel. They don't know anything. Maybe after some few hours now, I won't sit on this seat again. Daddy know about this, eh? Ah, daddy doesn't like seeing blood. He will feel so bad. You yeah, come, let me clean you off. Hey, you need to open the door. Hey. Hey. Who is in this house? Why is that stupid woman? That can you? You are drunk. Who is stupid? It's your father and mother that are drunk. No! Go ahead! Which? Yes. You are happy that I lose, I lose, I lose my job. Who your job, hell? No sense. Man. You are very stiff. I will get out. No sense, man. You push me. Come on. on the... I will mm. help myself. Mm. Look at you. <laughs> mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy, Sandra is done. Sandra? Huh? What do you say? Sandra is done. Mommy! Mommy! Go back. 
We lost her. We tried our best, but it was far beyond us. We are so, so sorry for the loss. From the tests conducted on her, it shows that her blood group 
doesn't match with any of you. What did you just say? You said she's your daughter, right? Yes, she would. Mm. She's our daughter. But medically, it doesn't show us. Joyce. Hmm? Yeah. What did she say? Beta. Need a shot for me. So what did you say? I said, medical. I am not the one who said this. Medical. It showed that one of you are the parents. You're a stupid doctor. Come on, what else? She died as a result of excess bleeding from her private parts. So, you mean um, I, I don't I don't get it like she was raped or what? Yeah, she was raped. From that bottle. Calm down. Joyce, I think it's the right time you start explaining to me what the doctor said in the hospital today. Ken, I don't have answers to those your stupid questions. Do you think that I'm joking? I'm I said kidding. explain to me what the doctor said. I said I don't have answers to those stupid questions. You think talk? <laughs> Who is the father of Victor and Sandra? Please. Please. Talk now before I stab you to death. Duck now! I will. Huh? Your call fighting me. Joyce, what's the problem? Mr. Eric. You and I know that my husband has 20% chances of making a woman pregnant. That I know very well. Oh, well. Please, and since then, the thing has happened. So I, I need your help. I want you to help me. Joy, stop it! Please. You, I, and your husband are the best of friends. He loves me and he trusted me. Yes, I, I can't do this kind of thing. Me. I want to be. Please! Please, try and understand. <laughs> Oh, so Eric has been the father of Victor and Sandra all these years. Joyce, Joyce, you can kill. You're a devil yourself. Okay, aside that, doctor said Sandra died as a result of excess bleeding from her private part. Now tell me, what did you do to her? What did you do to her? My mother planned it all. It all started. Have you added that substance in his food? Yes. As instructed by the end. Yes. Why? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. oh! Oh, oh, So, you and your mother, we are responsible for everything that happened to me. Yes. Joy, all the misfortunes, the missing documents, the loss of my job. You, Joyce. Joyce, you're a devil. You're a devil incarnate. You know what? Go inside now. Pack your load and that your stupid and wretched mother. And leave my house right now and right away. Now, before I stab you to death. I say you should go inside. Kent, because I they beg you. Eh? Because I they cry for you. Which house? You have a house. All the documents of this house. 
guess my name. <laughs> so now, who is leaving? You or I? Y you must be a comedian. <laughs> Joyce, you are a, a joker! I said go yeah, inside. You are the joking here. I said go inside and pack before you I You are the one leaving. Leave my house. What do you mean? Joyce, I don't want to take loss into my hand. Will you get out from my present and get... boy. Now throw away that knife. Stupid boy. Sit on the floor. Boy, stand up. Say you're a fool. I'm a fool. Shake your bum bum. Shake your head. <laughs> It's okay. Turn around. Put those slippers. Oh yeah, go and wash those clothes. <laughs> Let me pick my khaki. <laughs> Wah, mama. Like a mother, like, like a doctor. Doctor. Now, hmm. you have accomplished your mission. Uh -huh. The crown is yours. Hey! Abu 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 mm. You are now on top. I was on to win. control. Oh, so That's cool. the one. I can't hear. I will be my Who on this slippers? Is that stupid boy now? Hey. You would have asked him to carry it on himself. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, don't worry. More, more are still coming. <laughs> Do you ask him to wash toilet? You will do that if you no food for him. I go why? As a wife. As a wife. Like mother. Like daughter. Mama, you are such a good woman. Yes, yes, that's right. Trust me. Yes. I know what is best for you. You are getting my ass. 